Good evening, everyone. Christian Karaswitz here, back with another iOS device time-saving tip. And today we're gonna to talk about what do I do when my phone slows down? So to get started, we're just gonna open up a bunch of different applications here, and we're gonna leave them open. So now that I've got all of these applications that are running, um, they're all pulling data into my phone. So for example, I might have Facebook, I might have uh, Google Plus, I've got a bunch of emails there that I need to answer. You know, I've got uh, Foursquare there, et cetera. You know, and all of this is pulling data into your phone. So think about it like this, you've got all this information coming in and it's getting to this pipe and it can't go anywhere. It's just okay, like, it's like, uh, you know, you go to leave a baseball game, for instance, there's a lot of people that want to get out at the same time. So there's a lot of data that wants to get to your phone. So your phone has started running extremely slow. They're basically, uh, here's two tips how you can speed it up. So the first one is basically this. You hold the home button and the power button and you hold them down together. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up with this screen once you've started holding it. So you get this screen where it says power off. You're not gonna wanna hit power off. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hold these two buttons until the Apple logo pops up on your phone. And once this happens, uh, this is going to do a reset of your phone. It's not going to erase anything on your phone. It's just going to reset your phone to where uh, it won't operate so slowly. So that's the first way you can improve a slow phone. The second way is to actually go in and close some of your applications. And I'll tell you right now, if I, for instance, launch Facebook and I hit the home button, that doesn't close the application. It's actually still running in the background. So. To find out what you have running in the background on your phone, it's really simple. You double click the home button and you see what happens. It slides up and I see all these different applications. These are all applications that are currently running. So see there's 8, 12, 16, 20. There's 21 applications running on my phone. And given the combination of applications, some of them will make it go extremely slow. So what you want to do is really simple. You double tap your home button, okay? Two clicks on the home button, and you pull up this nice little menu. You're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? Really simple. Touch and hold on there, and what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this little screen. See if we can focus. And you see how they have those little red icons next to them, right? Okay? Those red icons mean that I can close them. So what kinds of things do I wanna close? Well, let's see, I'm not using the Photos application, I can close that. Uh, let's close the Maps application because I'm done with that. Uh, let's click on the Phone application, I'm done with that. iTunes, um, let's see, I can close uh, this shopping site. Um, I can go in and I can close YouTube, I can close the camera, I can close messaging, and I can close voice memos for instance. And now that I've got that done, I'm now down to how many apps here? Look at that, I've got eight, 12. I've got 12 apps running. And I'll tell you right now, just a quick little note, that just because you close an app does not mean you can't, for instance, get phone calls. Say you close the phone app, you're still gonna get phone calls. Say you have the text messaging app open, you're still gonna get text messages. It doesn't make your information disappear. Say you wanna close the email one, you can close that as well. It doesn't stop you from getting emails. It just stops the application from being open and running in the background. So once you've done this, you know, you've got your icons all jiggling there. There are two things you can do. One is you can tap the home screen and it returns to normal. Okay, see how it shrunk there? The other thing you can do is if you've got this open and we've got it jiggling, okay, very simple. All you gotta do is tap the home button and it makes them stop jiggling, look at that. And once you've got that done, all you've gotta do is do this. You just, you can tap that or you can tap the home button and it's back to normal, there you go. So there you have it. Those are a few ways to help improve the speed of your Apple iOS device uh, once you've opened applications. Remember, you wanna make sure you close applications every so often. Uh, because you know you don't need everything running in the background. You know, do you need all those games that you're running? You know, no, not necessarily. Again, you remember it does not delete the application from your phone. It just turns it off from running in the background. 
So I'd really like to hear from everyone. You know, do you have any other issues with your Apple iPhone that you need help with? Your iPad, uh, your iOS device, uh, great devices. I have to say, um, if your phone does um, get too slow, here's a little bonus tip. Um, check out my video on how to back up your iPhone. Um, you may want to do a system restore at that point, uh, which I did cover in that video. So I hope everyone has a great evening. Thanks a lot.